Rad Spinners and Sharks. It's time to go public. We are at the public house. Is the ace of Vegas, the ace of Vegas. All right, what's up, Spinners and Sharks? Hope you're doing well. Ace of Vegas here, and I'm actually hanging out with my boy Ray from Vacation Impossible. Ray, what's up? Hey, great right. to be on the show. Definitely, I'm glad to have you here. So how was your flight from Canada? Pretty great? Uh, yeah, the flight was awesome. Um, I, I won that little lotto where there was no one sitting next to me. So I had the window on one side, and then I had an empty seat next to me. So the that's door like closed. double armrest. Oh, yeah, and like... Foot room and stuff. I was able to like. I had my laptop. I was writing a blog post for Tumblr, nice. um, but like the seat was so close, and I got my new Surface Pro Seven. The right. keyboard is so big that I was like, just <laughs> using the side. seat and like, nice. yeah. I set up a mobile office. It was great. That's actually pretty badass. I like that. Yeah. When they, when they announced that they were closing the door, the guy next to me was like, "Oh, thank God!" Yeah. Because he was like on the aisle. I had the window. And we were like, "Yeah, we won the lotto. <laughs> the seat lotto." Yeah. That, that always kills me. The airport. You know, their airplane etiquette. Because what, what's the rule? Window seats. Aisle seat, you get the leg room. Window seat, you get the window. And if you're stuck in the middle, you get both armrests. And that always got me because I'm like, oh, I'd like to have an extra armrest. But if you're in the middle, that's the worst position. You get you get the best armrest. Well, and the thing is, you got the whole armrest, right? So like, one person could take forward armrest, one person right. could take back armrest. Right. So like, yeah, uh, I, that's what I used to think. And then somebody in the comments of one of my videos put me straight. They were like, No, no, no. Those those armrests are for the middle guy because he's suffering. Correct. And I'm like, <laughs> I did not know that. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so I learned from learned from the the comments, which was good. Yeah, definitely good stuff. Speaking of comments, I'm gonna bring it back over here. So this is something that you guys told me to do, and then immediately told me it was a bad idea. What is with you people? <laughs> that is the internet. <laughs> <laughs> like half of you guys were like, hey, let's go ahead and do that. Then after, uh, in, in the comments after the video, you're like, yeah, this place is uh, going to be pretty terrible, so be ready for that. So, I don't know. Going in open-minded, uh, we're at Public House over here at the Luxor. I don't know why I'm showing you this over this way, because it's backwards. Because <laughs> I'm using the phrase cam. Uh, but the video. Yeah, that's what, that's what we do. Yeah, we'll go ahead and... Uh, Flip it in post. We're, let's turn it around. Okay, guys, so the reward that we got is the $20 food food and beverage credit here at Public House. Uh, minimum purchase of $40 is required, but you know what? I definitely could have done that solo. Dozen Wings is 18 bucks, <laughs> And then the beers, I think it's happy hour right now. So the beers are, what, is it like $2 off? It's like 7 bucks or something like that. So I got the uh, Porter Stout. And then, uh, Ray, what, what are we drinking over here, my man? I got the penalty box because I'm Canadian, and the Toronto Maple Leafs are in town today, so i got to represent the hockey fans. That's a good way to do so it. I'm Salud. Try it. Yeah, I haven't tried it yet. Let's have a sip. It's good. Decently strong. Okay, good deal. What, what, so what's that made of? Uh, let's see here. Jack Daniels whiskey, sweet and sour, agave nectar, and iced tea. So... You know, it's kind of like a, like a little bit stronger um, Long Island iced tea. Okay, Which gotcha. I like. And so, no, it's good. It's got a little bite to it. Nice flavor. That's the way to do it. Right on, right on. All right, and I got myself the uh, Breckenridge uh, Vanilla over here just because, you know, I'm from Colorado. Well, not from, but, you know, I live in Colorado and have to get the local. So even when I'm not here, I got to get the local. It's not too bad. If I, I, I wish that they had the left-handed milk stout because I think that is superior to this. But if you're looking for a decent stout... That's a good way to go about it. I definitely take this over canned Guinness in America any day. I understand Guinness is like one of the best stouts of all time, but it just doesn't work if it's imported, especially here in the States, especially if it comes out of the can and all that. It just doesn't work the same way. So, well, uh, if, if you're picking a stout out of the two stouts, this is the one to go with, unless they have something happy on tap. So, all right, cool. Uh, you, you know what you're getting? What do you think? Oh, for food? Yeah. Yeah, uh, you know, I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten since my live stream at the Vancouver airport. And we'll put a link to that in the description box below, by the way. Awesome. Thank you. Um, I'm probably just going to go with the standard, but I'm going to see if, they, if I can swap out the caramelized onions for pickle. But I'm not seeing pickle anywhere on the menu, so I'm worried they don't have pickles. Oh, they got to have pickles. So, Burger joint, got to have pickles. Like, yeah, I get pickles on everything. One time I went to Subway, and they were out of pickles, and there was like a scene. I got emotional. Ooh. It was bad. <laughs> <A little> bad. <laughs> it was rough. Uh, let's see. Well, you know, I am definitely in a bit of a wing mood right now, so I'll probably get these drastically overpriced ring wings over here with the carrots, the celery, and the blue cheese. But you know what? Hey, 20 bucks off, so that's basically paying for itself. So I can get down with that. Uh, we're going to take a break until our uh, until our server comes back, and then we'll, uh, yeah, we'll check out the food and do our mini mukbang. So what happens when you get two travel vloggers together? They create a wormhole when they're both trying to take thumbnails <laughs> of their food YouTube for the video. Inception. There you go. The whole thing's going to explode. Gonna create singularity. There you got some thumbnail all day, all day, bam. <laughs> I love it. And stopped. Nice. 
All right, cool. So I guess we're going to go ahead and try out the wings over here. And you got the, what'd you get, the tavern double, or what was it called? Uh, the standard. The except standard. I got with no onions, but here, we got to do the product shot. Here. All this right, that, that's like what that. is officially what it's looking like. And I got, I got to mention, this drink is good, but I don't know if it's $13. That 13 yeah. It's like maybe $9, 10 good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Happy hour cocktail at best. Yeah. But anyways, this looks very lovely. It's smells great. The steps nice. are very friendly and nice. nice. Uh, the food came promptly. Great service so far. Yeah. Good deal. Looking forward to it. Yeah, I'm uh, smelling these wings over here and they definitely uh, they definitely went all out with the garlic parmesan over here. Added the uh, parmesan cheese just straight up on top. It smells great. I can smell it from here. Yeah. Yeah, that, uh, that buffalo sauce is great. And a uh, side of fries over here. So we'll go ahead and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take a bite and see how it is. Viva Las Vegas. Viva. 